Hello folks, for I am the only one, the only I am Hobo Tom. It's a special time here for the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. So you know what? Hit my music. I'm Twisted Pixie. It's nice to meet you. Hit my music. Hit my music. Again, I'd like to wish everyone out there a happy Memorial Day. Veterans out there, don't ask for too much. I've told many stories about that. Just be thankful that you get what you can. And again, we do appreciate you. And a very happy Memorial Day to everybody. We thank you for your service. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And yes, you know it's a special day because again, the Stars and Stripes cap comes out instead of the wrestling t-shirt. So again, happy Memorial Day, everyone. Please enjoy the special showing. Hello, folks, and welcome back to the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. Whoa! What a way to start off! Oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that steel cage! How did I get it? How did I afford a helicopter? The suspenders there. Please, the, the APC, the typical Daytona Beach crowd. Get back to work! Everyone's hiring. Get back to work! You bums! You bums! Get back to work! You hobos! Oh my God! You 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 strumpet! Coopers, get these people out of here! Oh, we have the one, the only, the Thundercater! Yes, you can tell by his music. We gotta welcome, folks, this is a the Memorial Day Madness Special for the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. Normally, Corporate Tom's here, but I already get him a little bit more experience. What the hell is this structure up here? What the hell? Why is there a helicopter? Paul Bear, where are you? What? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The under the undercater has to face on the Memorial Day Madness, the American Dream and Phil Dutheros, baby. Oh, this is like a, this is like a, a Dusty Rhodes classic match, too, in a steel cage. This could be pre, I don't think the Undertaker, I don't think the Undertaker knows what a steel cage is. Or what it could do to the, potentially to a human body. Dusty Rhodes knows, Dusty Rhodes, the innovator of the steel cage match, baby. A two minute and one man lead. Maybe. Sometimes, if you're lucky. The type of battle that you can show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment. Not this time. The person came. Oh! 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 What the hell just happened? You're right. This guy's still there, 100. percent If he keeps this up, this one will be over in no time. Oh, you get the big boy up, and the big boy goes off line. Great one yes, this is C. It oh. doesn't get much better than this. Look it up. Oh, oh yeah. under camera miss. Oh, he's in trouble now. Uh oh, setting up for, for the atomic elbow. Here we go. Uh oh, oh no, Bonk. around the head. And he ended quickly, and he breaks the cover, forcing the referee to stop the count. Well, that's just not enough to get the job done. Oh, Kaner needs a big back, the under Kaner needs a big back body drop. Some stomps, a big death the elbow. It's picked up, not of his own volition. Oh, look at that. 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 Oh, look at that
look out. Bat down the hatches. Here comes the American. Oh, what's this? Is this a buckle toss? Oh, into the buckle toss. I gotta get the hell out of here. Where's the freaking exit here? Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. Wow. And brought right down. This could end it in a hurry. That's it. He's out. Oh, he's on Green Street. It's just a and he goes for the cup and a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. Just when you thought it was over. Wow. Wow. What a display of heart and determination. He looks absolutely unstoppable here. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looks like the house has been empty for months. Avoids the impact there. Got out of the way of that one. Looking to go. Skyborne. Oh! Oh, drops the big elbow. Well, I gotta get the hell out of here. He's having a seriously hard time getting back to his feet after that. It's the pile driver on, on Dusty Rose, sweetheart. Dusty Rose is going to sleep. I got to get the hell out of here. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was freaking mania. That was some serious punishment. Wow, the chase is on. I don't think he's going to make it. I don't either. Oh, right from the top of the... Ouch. What are you doing? Stay down. Stay down. Oh, watch out, under here. Oh, I think he just busted Kaner open. Kaner's bleeding. Some more amazing matches. Some of the matches featured on this card we have El Drunko versus Sonny Bimbo in a ladder match. La Fantasma versus Twisted Pixie, the bestest girlfriend ever built. The Keller Boys versus the Rhodes Boys. Oh, that's a classic matchup. We have Justin Singh versus Mankind in the Hell in a Cell. The, and the feature match tonight, the Six Faces of Tom in a ladder and a steel. And a, we'll figure that out. It's going to be the Six Faces of Tom though in a ladder match for the OE for the Under the Bridge champion. And stay tuned, folks. There's more matches to come. Major pain. The same maker. It was a dream match for one person. Hey, man. July 4th, we got another dream match. So don't, don't worry about that. Look at that. Just insane. Amazing image. Bang, bang. Just, he's not all there, man. Yeah, and his finishers. Oh, my goodness. What structure is that being? What structure is this? Oh, my God. Look at what the... 
freaking helicopter brought in. Oh my goodness, folks. This cannot be good. He knows what's up. Oh, the last in the trifecta of matches for Justin Sane. Whoa! The last version. Again, Hell in a Cell, Mankind, Justin Sane. Have a nice day. This is not going to be pretty, folks. If you're the fan of heart this Memorial Day, please just fast forward through this match. This is not going to be pretty. There, there's going to be nothing civil about this match. And here we go. We'll all walk to the line on this one. But make no mistake about it. Oh, no. I forgot about this. this is exactly how he drew this one up. The mandible claw. Oh, that's not good. And he great counter. Why is the guy his opponent? What's he going for here? Trying to get under his opponent's skin with this one. Oh, there's they're saying. I can't believe I'm having a hell in a cell match this soon. Oh no, just insane. This is not good. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Oh, almost pulled out into the steel steps. Oh, oh wait. Oh god, no, he's reaching into his pants. Let's just wait and see. But I know one thing for sure. Soccer ho! No, this is not good for Justin Sane. Again, taking... Again, people have said you never want to meet your idols. Justin Sane might be regretting meeting mankind. In a hell on a cell match. Here at the Daytona Beach oh, Bump Fight League. All right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh to the steel steps! Oh, whoa! Oh, the ankle lock submission. Really going to work here. Just wrenching that thing. Oh, oh no, Justin Sane's busted open, I think. Yeah, there's some blood, Justin Sane's like, Justin Sane's like, no. This is, this is, this is good, but. God, there was nothing accurate about that attempt at offense. Oh, you're being too kind. Some people would use other words to describe what we just witnessed. Oh, what's he got in mind? Oh, into the cage. There's Justin uh -oh. Payne. Oh. Now back to the ring. Back to the ring. Outside the ring. In, out. This Come on, let's get this done on the outside. Get out of here, you. Oh, he uh oh, nobody hold that time. Narrowly avoids the attack there. Oh, caught that. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? And he touches that one. Not this. He's looking at it again. Oh, into the ring post. Is he going? Oh, his head bounced off that tiki pole. It's not good. He fails to connect with anything that time. Man, that was some miss, all right. I could feel the breeze all the way over here. That's it. He's out. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Cole, that looked like the house had been empty for months. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. And he gets out of the way. Good Lord, that was 
wasn't even close. So that's what it's like being so far off the mark. Look out. The physicality. He can barely stand, but he still presses on. Right there by the cage. What's going to happen now? That's it. Ouch. It's over. It's over. Pig stomps. Man, oh man, did he take a while. Kicks the gut. With that one. Oh no, oh no, you know, folks. How you make a statement. Both of these competitors have so much resolve, it's going to take a minor miracle to keep one of them down. Both I'm men beaten bad. Wait, oh, wait, go. where's just... Oh my goodness, they're climbing the ring at the same time in opposite spots. Oh my god. Here we go. What is this? Mr. Sacco, doesn't matter. I don't think, yeah, you can't tap out on top of the cage. Oh wow, this has been a long match so far. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. He's there celebrating a little bit. He's on top of the cage, dancing. Get up here, Mick. No, this is our destiny, Mick. It is our destiny. I've seen two seasons of Star Wars movies. Here he goes. Oh, on to the stage. Here we go. This could be it. Oh, he's busted open. Mick Foley. For a moment. Not this. He's looking at it again. That's it. Oh, He's done. Double arm DDT. Wow. He's still down after that. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Well, that's a strategy you have to always have in the back of your head, Cole. If you ever see a weakness in your opponent, you got to jump on it. Oh, well, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Quick thinking to avoid that. We might be seeing the beginning of the end. Unstable part of the ring. Here he goes. Looking for the win. Goes up. That's it. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, his lower back caught on, on the steps. Man, he's still down after that move. His lower back That's caught on the steps. Seriously wrong there. Goes for the quick, it's simple it's pain. It's it. It's over. It's oh my it. goodness, what did both over. men put each other through? For the love, for the bloodlust of, of the Saitona Beach crowd. Oh my god. I forget how he hit the, hit the same maker though. Up he goes. Down he goes. Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Great, amazing intro. He's managing to stand on those bicycle blocks. Stardust. God.
There's the police APC carrier right there. Those good looking belts. The Keller boys taking on the Rhodes boys. This place, what an incredible tag team match this is going to be. Yeah, you know, the tag team division has really started to pick up lately. So this should be a good one. These guys are going to need to show some guts and heart if they hope to leave here with the gold. But hey, this is what we signed up for, didn't we? A singles title doesn't gain you instant entry into the Hall of Fame, but it sure gets you a whole heck of a great counter. Nice dodge there. If you haven't done it yet, check out www.com you'll find updates and blogs from all of your favorite superstars yeah don't forget to check us out on twitter it's at jerry lawler and at michael cole right michael cole yeah that's original wow he's still down after that stardust with reason to be concerned this is not at all how the challenger drew this one up well i think it's too early to call anything at this point i agree with you king but hey I have a feeling the WWE Universe is in for a treat tonight. Four. What a counter that was. Not today. Too fast. And he gets out of the way. It was a big elbow. The tag is made. Oh no. And infamy all at once. He's been an intercontinental champ. He had the famous. Oh no, the OMG moment now. Against Rowdy Roddy Piper, and he's held. It's over. That's gotta be it. Back in the ring again. Good. Keep it in the ring, guys. The hobo breaker! The hobo breaker! Oh my goodness, the hobo breaker. Oh, reversed? Oh no, this is not good. Superplex. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying it. Oh no, that's not good. This could do it. Maybe he is. Ooh, two cut. Got everybody going at it now. Quick thinking to avoid that. Not today, too fast. This is not the position you want to be in. The sleeper hole broken up by his brother. And now the whole schmoz is in the ring. The referee getting involved now. Oh, the arm breaker. He Where's it. the referee at? Hey, he's going for it again. And Goldust is rolling. He's seen it up. And here's a cover. We kicked out. Oh, he missed. Oh, -ho, nobody home that time. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. He's going for the pin. This could be it. I think he's got it. What? He we have new champions. The winner and your new champion. Oh, my goodness. The Rhodes boys dropped oh, the Keller boys. Dropped the belt to the Rhodes boys. Whoa. This has me measuring all over it, folks. Age and experience could not overcome them. Whoa. That was weird. 
the Rhodes boys are title holders in the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. You want to talk about a tag team war? We both definitely witnessed just that. This was from bell to bell, a clinic in tag team wrestling. Kudos to everyone. I love tag team matches, and that was one of the best I've seen in a while. Wow, he absolutely manhandled it there toward the end. And tonight's action. That was impressive. All across WWE. Oh, you got that right, Cole, but what a night it was. So confident in Sonny Bimbo, the always underweight champion, he in his hair back. So confident. Who's he facing? Oh, that's right. Oh my god, they let El Tronco dry! Oh, look at that little Papa Wheelie. How many has El Tronco had to be riding this freaking TV around the ring? What the hell? Why haven't the police gotten him for drunk driving yet? El Tronco? Uh, you, you know, at least you can put her in first. Yo, oh, how, how happy old drunk is to be here. So he gets in the ring. The police APC's right there, keeping a close eye on him. Acting crazy as he normally does. Then look at him, shows up in a suit. Sh open collared shirt. Pants. Like slippers. What the heck's up with old drunk though? That, that god awful ugly mask. Look what tablecloths did he, did he steal that from? El Tronco from the nearest nightclub. That was funny. And his opponent from Traverse City, Michigan, winning in it, he is the Dean South Athletic. I heard it's Sunny Bimba Jack. Oh, I can't wait to see this one. Two of WWE's absolute best preparing to square off here. Sunny Bimba. Awesome. Long time watcher. Of the Hobo and Girlfriend Wrestling Program. El Tronco from me of Chikara Wrestling. A lot of Chikara wrestlers here. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Well, neither one of these competitors has a lot of love for the other. That's going to become clear right about now. Oh, man, am I ready for this? Hey, that's why these superstars compete for a chance at the title. And that's exactly what we have here. Looking for the win. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Oh no, I'm trying to finish El Drunko. But El Drunko feels no pain. He's just like drunk all the time. That's why he's El Drunko. He's done.
Ladies and gentlemen, this one-on-one -on -one match is for the championship. Do not change the channel. Do not go to the fridge. Text your friends. We may be witnessing history here. And now it is show-off time. Don't waste time floating here. He's too busy bragging and boasting and battling in this matchup. Oh, he's taking it. Oh, well, Drunko countered him. What? We might be seeing the beginning of the end. <laughs> and the clog <laughs> by El Drunko. Oh, Sonny Bimbo's in shock. Kicks out of that thing. Going for it all here. There's no oh. from that. Takes the boots to all drunk out. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. Oh! <laughs> for the highlight reel. Going top rope once more. They look, look at this hang time. Incredible. Not today, too fast. Fisherman suplex. Oh, every so often I'll drunk out busts out with the moves. Dominant Sonny Bimbo. Hey, he's going for it again. You have to think that's it. Uh, going to the top. High risk. Watch out. Quickly into the cup. With a title on the line. There we go. There we go. Sonny Bimbo retains his title. Let's take a look back at some of the big highlights. Actually, old Drunko made that more competitive product than it should have been.
tools needed to win this one. Now let's see if he can put them together. So much thought goes into a superstar's entrance, as we're witnessing here tonight. The Daytona Beach crowd does not know how to spell either. Bunch of there, The team that gets the first pinfall or submission will be declared the winner tonight. That's it. He's done. This is exactly how he drew this one up. like being so far off the mark. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The tag is made. Wait, that's supposed to be the other way around. And now he's back out of the apron. Right counter. And he gets out of the way. Oh, look at this. Power of El Sicario, the Argentinian backbreaker into the gut buster. The to escalate quickly in this one. You're right, Cole. These two don't like each other. And we're going to find out how much it they stops. really do dislike each other in this match. This could end it in a hurry. Big Cass is going for the ride, folks. That's right. You can't teach that. You can't teach getting your ass whipped. I traveled 2,500 miles to be here. You're an idiot. Who would ever travel 2,500 miles? Come to a, to a, jeez, third tier, I don't even call it a third tier, fourth tier wrestling program. I can attest that this is no different. He's gonna take a chance here. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be worth Oh, he missed. Kind of slid right down the back. Enzo Amore. And here's the submission 
Check this out. The Cuba Libre. Ouch. And now he's back out of the apron. Oh, they're taking a risk here. That's how you win matches. Oh, he missed. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody hold it. His shoulders are down. Wow, that was a good match. Now look at Twisted Pixie, the champion of the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. The parquet floor leading to the lane. Recycling park, recycling driftwood, pump from the beach. Scaffolding. I don't know how I made that. Oh, quick pin attempt. A twisted pixie. 
But but La Fantasma is coming back. What's La Fantasma's finishing move? Oh, look out. She missed her target that time. Yeah, I guess she Remember, this is a Jacksonville street fight, too. Mark with that one. As the action progresses, let's briefly talk about the challenge. Oh! Put an end to this one. It might be a while before she finds her footing now. Oh! Oh, my God! No! No, this is not going to be a repeat of what happened. And there's another smack. Oh my, get the medics down here. Oh, not again. Not again. She appears to be extra slow. Oh, and did you hear the impact? There's another huge shot. Kendo stick shots. What's wrong with Twisted Pixie? Oh. And that one hit with the force of a big rig. Wild strike. Talk about missing the target. Yeah, knee like breaker. Out of oh, big knee breaker. Oh, he still has a guitar. Almost as fresh as the daisy in there. Only a small amount of offense delivered so far. What's wrong with Twisted Pixie? Is, is she becoming worn out by being the champion so long? Give me that. Oh. Took that from me. Ow! Yeah, oh, what a shot with a car! I mean, that thing exploded. Well, right off the head. Oh my, get the medics down here. I've only seen the guitar explode once. Oh, not again. Not oh, again. that was a straight head shot. Ow! Yeah, oh, what a shot with a guitar! I mean, that thing exploded. Jesus, the violence of La Fantasma I mean, out what they're going to do next. has no, I'm going to start I fighting with the Kendo stick. To out what going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying it. The pure ultra-violence of La Fantasma. It oh, this is not good. One-on-one -on -one for the championship. This is where legacies are born and dreams are shattered. Oh! We're head off the steps! Oh my god, Twisted Pixie could be dead. Back in the ring again. Good. Keep it in the ring, guys! Only a bit of damage inflicted so far in this one. We're looking at complete domination here. What a wild attempt at striking your opponent. I don't know if she could have been further off the mark. <laughs> that was like a haymaker. Oh! Canadian Destroyer! Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of... She, uh... All right. Now she... Uh... You don't want to get caught outside the ring for too long. What happened to you? You used to love being outside the ring. A flaming table raised by a ladder. Oh my goodness. They're just like employing everything in this match, aren't they? Gotta be pleased with the low level of use that's been dished out so far. Oh, the straight headbutt. Don't get up. Oh, big drop kick. The taunt. She crawls over her. Oh! Oh! Vicious, vicious headbutts! Over this Divas match here tonight. Oh, they couldn't find a home for that one. Well, it certainly wasn't due to a lack of trying, Michael. Are we gonna see it? Will it be enough for the win? Oh! The Phantom Neutralizer! Oh no. Oh! Is that? Oh, the headbutt though. Again, the championship title at stake in this contest. And again, we reiterate the championship title is at stake in this contest.
Oh, into the ladder though. Some damage has been dished out, but certainly not enough to assume this one's even close to being over. What a counter that was! And there's the reversal! Oh, oh the drop to hold into the ladder. No, there's still the flaming ladder. Signature, so. It's a big fight feel here in this arena. The WWE Universe hanging on every move. Destroyer! Here. The WWE Universe is loving this match. Oh, oh did she try to stop her right in the couch? Yeah, I guess you could say she was just a bit off the mark with that one. Oh, God. Such violence displayed by La Fantasma. Oh no, no. Right oh my god. Normally this is a twisted pixie spot, folks. If, if you have any humanity, cover your eyes. Oh my god. It's gotta be oh, 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 the flaming table spot. But it is La Fantasma done? Remember, she can't win via oh, count out. I don't understand the strategy. She was really putting the hurt on outside the ring. So many weapons in the ring. Oh my god. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of. Oh my gosh! Oh. She's making it look oh easy here. Oh my god! Back on the inside. And thank goodness I just had my diet coat knocked all over the place. <laughs> oh my god. The emotion. The WWE is haunting. Get back in this ring. I'm having a hard time oh figuring God. out what they're going to do next. Me too. I'm oh no, she took the baseball bat from her hands. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying it. No. Basic pin. I feel broken. Oh my God, Twisted Pixie lost. Oh, what a spectacular Oh my goodness, Twisted Pixie just lost the belt. Oh wow, I forgot that. Oh my god, the flaming table spot. We have a new best disqualifying champion, La Fantasma. Oh my goodness. Yes, and it's what you've all been waiting for, folks. This is the Six Faces of Tom Memorial Day Challenge. Tattooed up, it's like devil somewhere on my chest. 
Look at that evil looking face mask too. Yeah, the red and black. The demon music. And it's better than I want to be, baby. Let's see, who's next? Who's next? Oh no, there's a, only one Tom that comes out to, to Inagata De Vida, and he is the Under the Bridge champion. It is old Tom. And we have some more modern rendition. Probably so that he doesn't receive any threatening class action lawsuit notices. see who faces him. If he wins, he actually gets to choose who he gets to face at the July 4th matches. Which time is this? So many of them.
was just such a big smudge. Boy, he 
does he do it? He's relentless on that ladder right now. Oh, man. Super flex. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Nobody home there. Nobody home? Oh, that looks like the house has been empty for months. You can practically feel the wear and tear that's been done throughout this match. Tom's it's still dead. Ringside. Sure Suplex from the ladder to the outside. Oh, I don't even think they would do that on the man. indie circuit. That's just like lethal. Really oh, wait, there are no more ladders. He huh? set it up. Oh, this is not going to be good. Oh, Freaking what chair. I'm done with this. Now, that's how you make a statement. Oh, and did you hear the impact? And he touches that one. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. Wow, he's still down after that. Why is the guy that's opponent? What's he going for? Hey, what a shot. What a shot from the ladder. This might be it. I can't tell you how many victims have suffered the same fate. I don't think that chair is going to be good for much after this match. Uh oh, big move coming. Boy, he is really tired now. And there's the reversal. We might. Action. I can't even follow all the action that's going on. This might not end well. You have to think that's it. Oh, what's he got in mind? He's showing no signs of letting up. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Someone just got busted. Oh my god, Hobo Tom might be dead. Wow, he's still down after that. Extra slow getting back to his base here. Stay down, stay down. Is it enough to put an end to this one? Oh, this is not going to be good. It's safe to say the entire WWE locker room has just been put on notice. What a slow finish, huh? If he keeps this up, this could be over quick. 
Good Lord, he's just hell bent on naming his opponent. Oh, hey, nice reversal. If he keeps up this pace, this can turn real ugly real fast. Well, that steel chair has done the damage. Oh, man, did you hear that? Not a lot of spring left in his step right now. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to go. This match may end right here. End of story. This one's over. Somehow, he takes to the air. Wow. We're looking at complete domination here. Oh, this is not going to be good. He needs to dig way. Oh, that's going to put an end to this one. Oh, this spells trouble right here. Oh! Oh my god, he's dead. He's dead. We're looking at complete domination here. This is a pure chaos. I don't know how much longer he's gonna be able to go. Oh my goodness. Did he hold Tom win the spell? Oh, he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, we're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. Oh my Pretty god, evil cool. Tom has a shot and at old match. Tom's belt? Oh, oh my man, goodness. There's a lot of chaos that happens here. Extremities while using fireworks this Memorial Day. Everyone, take care. Bye. Hello folks, for I am the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. This is another Cooking with Hobo Tom special. Um, the reason why it's a special is because boss didn't make me kind of work too much this today. Um, even though I put in 110 hours in one entire week. That is a hobo work week, folks. 110 hours. I know people that don't pull in 110 hours for a month. That's terrible. 
all my coworkers, they can all go to hell. Uh, we're gonna fire his ass anyway. That's okay. So right now, sink's finally working. I do have to put dishes away. Oh wait, pizza pans, double pizza pans. That means one thing, I have pizza crust. It's time to make myself. Actually, I'm gonna be a little bit creative. It's not so much the pan pizza. I do have to make nog cake kind of soon. So I have the warm water going. Again, warm water, make sure it's not hot. Hot kills things. I think you're supposed to add like a cup and half a cup, but one pack, I don't know, we'll see. So right now, cup, nice warm water goes in there. You go there. Let's actually read stuff. What do the directions say? Half cup of water for one. So if I have two, therefore that makes sense. I'll put you up there. And you're not necessarily supposed to add yeast. I like to make my girl a little dough a little extra puffy. So I do like to add active active dry yeast. It makes it a little bit, I think it's tastier. Remember, with dry yeast, they do need a very basic sugar packet. I think I stole that from some restaurant. Again, just kind of swirl that around. Get it dissolved. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm gonna add in one pack of yeast, one pack of active dry yeast. Make sure all the yeasties get in there. And kind of swirl it around gently a little bit, kind of mix it up a little bit. And these remember you have to let activate for about 15 minutes. So I am going to get stuff done. Actually, let's see, let's go to the kitchen pantry area. I do need some olive oil so I can start doing that. It's kind of the last of it. So now, I guess I'll put there. Whoops. I do have to put these dishes away. So much stuff to put away. Oh, and I have to put that, pull that sausage out too. So let's see. I have my pans here. You can see the pans for the most part. You know, I would like to just oil up. I think that's the secret to it. But it doesn't matter. Mainly you because know, before the gym, I have to let it proof up. Not going to do so much a double proof on this pizza, but I do need to spread some kind of lubricant around. If not, probably the pizza crust will stick to stuff. I like to get a nice even coat so there's no issues, and I do have to wash my pizza cutter too. So last time I had Marco's pizza, that was pretty good. I've been wanting to try to make my own pan pizza for a while. Well, I've been making my own pan pizzas for a while. I figured since Pizza Hut was the innovator of stuffed crust pizza, and Papa John's kind of copied them, I can copy them too. So what I like to do, I think the Pizza Hut recipe I don't know if it's some seasonings on, but I swear it gives, they put on all their crust and olive oil and butter. So I have some butter in my hand. I'm going to smear this around with the oil. Get that all kind of <laughs> lubed up. <laughs> I said lubed up. <laughs> Tell you what, I saw some women at work who were all looped up. Crazy. So it has a nice even flow there. It's a little drippy. That's okay, I can live with that. So that's all set up into the garbage discos. I'll season it a little bit later, but I'll season that. I just wanted to put that out. This is going to go into the refrigerator so it kind of cools and sets a little bit. I'll find space for you somewhere. Actually, flat space, so I don't want to let all over the place. And because I actually I forgot to pull it out today, put the butter back. And if you guys want to see what the hobo fridge looks like, it's the hobo fridge right now. Whoa, only four cans of beer left. Oh, I'm going to have some vanilla cola and some of that. So I have to go in the freezer part. And this sausage is going to be frozen solid, too. It's here somewhere. I knew I bought sausage, like, not the breakfast sausage. 
pancakes. Biscuits. I want to have a freaking pack of sausage or something. Did I get that instead? No, I didn't get Italian sausage. What the hell did I do with it? Let's show you those. I could have sworn my life that I had sausage here somewhere. There's that, there's the steak. I think it's always good. Now you know I've reorganized this. I bet you it's... Aha! I knew I had hot Italian sausage here somewhere. So that's good. So I'll probably use two links to grill. Three I'll save for pasta. It was just sitting there at the very core. At the very depths of hell. No, I mean not hell, but my freezer. Put stuff back. Probably where it should go. Don't need that. While that gets closed up, and we'll come back probably in about 15 minutes. Let's see how this yeast is doing. It's a nice little slurry there, and we'll come back 15 minutes. Bye. Okay, folks. So it's been well over 15 minutes. Oh, I took a nap. That's what it, so my yeast looks like. So now, very simply, um, yeah, I'm trying to do that way. Very simply, you just take. Said pizza dough, open it up over a bowl. Pour contents in. It's so simple, isn't it? Sausage is getting a little softer, that's good. Hopefully, it looks like it's gonna rain. Hopefully, it doesn't rain until I get sausage cooked. Again, contents into bowl. That, I'm gonna keep this handy right here in the bowl. I'm gonna set this up, lock the bowl in. I have my bread hook here. Lock that. Well, it would help though. If I have this all set up. It would help though if I plugged it in, wouldn't it? Duh. Not gonna do much good like that. Oh, uh, around there. With this. Like the alternate speed, you can tell how it's going. That looks pretty good. Let's see, do you have to get a light on? See stuff. Oh my goodness, I have to get to the gym. So again, you can see there's always going to be a little buildup. What I do in order not to get my, what I figured out, not to get my fingers dirty, a spoon. Okay, so again, once you get that nice dough ball forming, I lowered it right there. Get a nice dough ball forming. Scrape all the good stuff in. Wow, that's the first time it's really not sticking for a change. That's rare. And then, very simply, just to make sure, pour some olive oil down the side, let that kind of ball up. It will add some seasoning to it. Get all that additional stuff done. And it actually, Check this out, it actually won't stick on the hook. So I'll turn this off, unlock it. Oh my goodness, look how smoothly that came up. So now I have my nice dough ball here. Wow, that's like freaking perfect. Chef, Chef Tom, um, put you back up there. And then what I'm gonna do, because it is fairly warm, I actually take the one part of the oven out. You don't see me doing that. But I'll show you it anyway, though. Kind of cover this up, because now I want this to proof up. The way I get it to proof up, put a little towel over it. And do not turn the oven on. Turning an oven on with the towel is 
bad idea. So again, I just have the white thing. See, oven not on. Do not turn the oven on. Put a little bit warmer. Put set in the oven. Close that up. I'm gonna let that proof up for probably a good hour. So one hour, I'll be back. Sausage is still falling out. I'll be back. I forgot, I got things started a little quick here because I went spent some time in the Okay, so I put the pizza pizza dough from said container into the pizza the nice oil of pizza pan. And what I'm doing now is I'm kind of spreading it out so it's nice and even. There's no thin spots because you really don't want that. And I'm putting the pizza crust actually over the pan. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to give it a very short second proof. I do want to get a few things done. i kind of late. But the reason why I'm giving it a second proof like this, is I want this whole area to build up just a little bit. The reason why I have this crust up, because remember, I'm going to be filling this with cheese, so I need to have that extra space there so I can fold it over. So I'm going to let this kind of reproof maybe about a half an hour. I'm going to stick it in the oven again to kind of reorganize the oven a little bit. We can get it. Again, I want to, I put the smaller pan inside the big pan. I want this proof up a second time. So this goes back in the oven. And then I'll show you what it's like to make a stuffed crust pizza. I'm going to par -ba Again, I'm probably going to par-bake it. I par-bake it, I'm going to cook the sauce, we're going to get, going to get some peppers chopped up. We're going to have a nice, delicious pizza. I'll be back. Okay, folks, I'm back. And you know what time it is. It's time to start cooking. Before I have tonight's beverage of choice all set up, I have that, some vanilla Coke, because some vanilla Coke, because that's pretty good tasting. Oh wow, I can almost see stuff. It's still, eh, somewhat bright in here. Out here is the grill. I'm having sausages and pepper pizza, baby. That light gives me absolutely no illumination for this camera, though. Let's see, our first thing you always need to do, and no cheese pa, no hobo cat. You cannot go outside. I've just finally gotten all the buggies off of you. Yes, the fire stick. The mystical stick of flame. You can look outside, you're not coming outside. Oh, so here we go, the grill. The grill. The grill. The grill is on fire. We don't need no water. Let this trucker burn. Burn, mother trucker. Burn, put it up, put it up, boom, boom, boom. Everybody, here we go. Woo, woo. Turn the gas on, nice little poof sound. And something's going. The knobs all into the on and fire position. I just have to get into one of these. Flame on, baby. Flame on. Thanks. Before the end of the season, I do have to get new fire shields for the one of these. And I can, this can come back inside. But that is all ready. And the reason why I threw this now is here. No hobo cat. Back hobo cat, back. I want to get that actually just sterilized. It's too lazy to clean it. Back on the table. As we enter another one of the 36 chambers the Wu-Tang Nation, I've been listening to the Wu-Tang Wu Clan recently. So I'm calling this the 36 Chambers. Kitten Chow is always good to have. So let's take a look at what happened to our pizza. So I have some peppers out. Whoa, I don't need that Well, I will need that many. No, I'm not going to touch this now because I haven't turned the oven on. So I'm going to par-bake this crust primarily because I'm gonna have cheese in there and I want it. I, it's, you don't really want to make a crust that has, that's like pure doughy. Even the real pizza places don't do that. You want to par bake it. And as you can tell, it's kind of spread out nice and good. So I have that room to move stuff. I've seasoned the pan, so that's good. Now, <laughs> time to cut the cheese. <laughs> I said cut the cheese. All I'm gonna do, I got this cheese because I think it's gonna yield enough. If you if you like to have a different one, that's all up to you. I'm just gonna cut this and yank. And we're gonna see how much this yields. D don't worry, this trust me, this cheese will not go. Then very simply, again, it's 
simply cutting cheese from over here, find the edge of my pan, that's the reason why I did that, and start to place all this cheese here. And because it's a soft cheese, it actually will take, I'll show you guys this. See, look at that nice round edge it makes. And again, this is a stuffed crust pizza. Very simply, I'm gonna have a lot of cheese left over. That's okay. It's just gonna be an, actually, I can put some of this cheese on top. That's zero problem. So again, cut. And the thing is, you do want to try and make it fairly uniformed throughout at the same thickness so it cuts kind of the same. So I screwed that up. That's okay. It's always okay to screw up, folks. It's always fine to admit your mistakes. I am not perfect. I do not expect a whole bunch of others to be perfect as well. I love it when people say, oh, you should be doing this perfectly. Uh -uh. It's not going to happen, especially when you give, give me half-baked instructions. Or if you say, well, you know what to do. I know how to f try to figure it out. Stupid idiot. Gonna have the cheese all packed in there. Don't worry. That's not gonna go to waste. I will find another use for it probably pretty shortly. So now, I'm gonna zoom the camera in. I'm gonna have the water running. So when I have to wash my hands, very simply, take this crust that was over the pan. And see what I'm doing? I'm just kind of folding it back in. You know, sticking a little bit. And now I'm just making, and I'll show you a, a better view of it. Kind of digging my hands underneath. Some parts are easier than others for whatever reason. Doesn't matter that it's not necessarily perfect. That's okay. Even the people at Pizza Hut are not perfect. Again, this pan was, was seasoned, so again, there's going to be some salt, pepper, oregano on there. Try to cover up all the cheese, though, as much as possible, so you don't have any leakage. Do not have leakage. Ha, uh, ha, I said leakage. Leakage is bad. Let's check my time there, so I'm still doing pretty good. There we go, almost done. You can move this pan a little bit. And remember, you don't want to necessarily use a perforated pan for your pizza. The underneath pan doesn't really matter. The underneath pan is fine, because that's not where the oil is going to go through and, and seep in and, and start like kitchen fires. So there we go. Now I'm just going to kind of press down a little bit. Going to make a good tight seal as well as I can. I'll show you what this looks like. So now you want from that crust, that crust, see this actually looks like a crust, there's a bottom pan, my other ingredients, I have a bag of sweet peppers I'm using, the sausage is going to be thawing out, let's see here, what else did I need, I'm going to use that cheese up, I might not use the other cheese, so I have a whole bunch of cheese, tomatoes, again, you always have your tomato base, so way pizza works here in the house. Let's see here. So now, stretch over. Grab the sausage. I only need two. You only need two links. Remember, you're gonna cut it. Take out two links. And I do apply. You must clean yourself off when handling food products. Um, Let's see what I want to do first. So actually, I'm going to just hold those out. I clean my hands because the key is in life is that you do not want to use raw products in like clean products. And veggies are really considered a clean product. So, well, these peppers are fairly small. They're not going to take much. Actually, I'm going to do first. Now that you think about it, you can see the hobo cat in action guarding the garage door as she dutifully should. But now I'm going to set my oven, because I, again, I do want to par-bake it. I'm just going to set it to 440, but I'll only cook it instead of for 20 minutes. Really cook it for 10. And the main thing is I just want to get that crust hard. So into the oven it goes. If you want to put the whole thing in, fine. I might as well just put the whole thing in. Actually, you know what? No, I'm just going to put the pizza in. 
that pan's a little dirty, but it's not horrible at least. So the pizza's in the oven. It's going to be part baking while I'm prepping everything else. Again, very simply, let me put this camera down here. Take one end off. And generally kind of small, thin pieces. Unless you like it chunky. Hey, if you like it chunky like a monkey, that's personal preference. Bay, bay. I have some yellows. It's actually going to be a fairly colorful looking pizza. Yeah, that looks funky. I can always get rid of one. So yellow and red peppers, that looks pretty colorful. Some red pepper, some red sweet pepper. It's fairly thin. Remember, it is going to dehydrate a little bit and dry out when it gets in the oven. So you don't want absolute slivers, but you do not want super chunks either. The super chunks will just take longer. And again, it also depends on how much you feel like cooking it as well. Like, like what, what's your level of, of pepperages? I don't, even, I don't even know if that's the word, but today it is. I do have to find that army bikini clip and begin to make said video. So I have my peppers ready. Get over here. Crust is part baking. Probably by now that pizza's doing, or the um, grill's probably doing pretty good over there. And hey, if you want to use jalapenos, Anaheim's, you know, whatever pepper you want to use, go for it. I'm just using these. These were given to me, kind of free. I have no idea why my parents did that. They don't. They don't eat peppers. I don't know why they gave it to me. Why waste your money and give me stuff? I've whatever. Whatever, but thank you, Mom and Dad, for the gift of the peppers. They shall go very tasty on my pizza. The peppers are done. Um, take my sausage over here. Put out of space. Make sure they do not touch. They do not have things touching. It's bad. Grab another knife, clean knife. And I always like to score the sausage a little bit. And keeping it away from said peppers. Or a little bit. Was there? Well, I don't have to. Nah, just dry my hand off. I'll be okay. <sighs> Sausages. Remember, it doesn't seem like I'm using a lot of sausage, but remember, this is getting cut up too. And that pizza pan necessarily wasn't the biggest pizza pan around. So, it's not that bad. Back out! To the, to the wild outdoors of Daytona Beach we go. And then by the time this thing's done par baking, probably about 10 minutes, these sausages should actually be done. This grill, I can actually feel the heat from out here. Wow, that got up to like 500 degrees really quick. You can see the flames coming out. Kind of hear the sizzle, the sausages are there. Close that up. And we'll come back to those in a bit. And I shall return. And actually, hello folks, welcome back. It's time to make some beverage. Beverage of choice. I've kind of washed my hands, so my hands are free of sausage stuff. Picked some nice, nice glassware that my that that, that loser gave me. Going to the freezer here. I don't think that ice is necessarily done yet, but that's okay. A pile of ice beneath it. Fill that glass up full of ice. There's new ice being made, so hopefully by the time I have to reload the ice, because I'm saying ice, ice, baby, that stuff will be good to go. Oh, I can't go there though. Too tall for the freezer. So there. And my ice. Remember, things are par baking, so let so, some space over here. And I'll show you guys, of course, as always, the end product. Put that down there. And then tonight's beverage of choice because I don't necessarily have to wake up too early. Ooh, I almost forgot to put sausages back in the freezer. Rewrap your sausages, put them back in the freezer. Frozen sausages are good sausages. Sausages. 
Yeah. You can make any mixed drink you want if you just want to have plain Irish whiskey. That's fine by me. You like a little soda to it? I just am not a big fan. It's going to use some old fashioned vanilla cola there. A little flavor to yeah. it. I have the Bushmills Irish whiskey. And a very simple pour. That's about pretty good. I don't want to overdo it because I do have to work tomorrow and I have to go down the road for another hour, another three hours. So I don't want to overdo it for tomorrow. I do want some beverage. Again, just top it off and look how refreshing that is. Look at how instantly it pours. Oh, so delicious are these beverages. A beverage of choice. So delicious. And we're just letting things par bake and cook. So I might enjoy this. Get my entertainment going for the night. It's clean, fun entertainment. Probably watching the Bad Batch or the Snops of the whole Bad Batch. And I'll be back once everything's ready. All right. Okay, well, so let's take a, t take a quick look. So that's part baking pretty good. I'm actually gonna pull it out. I think it's pretty good. Actually, it's still preheating. Leave it in there just a little bit longer. Once I hear the beep, that's okay. I'm gonna start getting everything else ready. So the tomato can's pretty simple. Tomato lid, pop it open. I'm gonna pop it open over the sink. Press the lid down. Drain the majority of the juice out because you don't really want wet tomatoes on pizza for some reason. It just adds more moisture. It does weird things to the crust, the cheese and stuff like that. Where I put, so tomatoes are all set. Hey, if you wanna use pasta sauce, or any kind of tomato, tomato sauce is fine. Do you have to put some pizza wheel in some water to let that soak up? So I have my peppers ready. Just kind of push those aside a little bit. So this cheese I'm not going to let waste. I have shredded Parmesan cheese. I don't necessarily have a cheese shredder though. So all I'm going to do I'm just going to cut of this one, thin squares, off. It's mozzarella, so, I mean, how much could it really matter that much? And that's going to be the base of the pizza. Then because I do not believe in having too much cheese, well, I don't know, I might save that for a while. Actually, I think this is going to be a pretty good amount. I might make it like two, no, no, yeah, no, I don't know, we'll see. Well, actually, you know what, Roger that, so I have mozzarella's all set up. My kitchen counters are clean, I had to clean it off when the, have some fresh mozzarella here. You should always use it fresh. Trust me, it's not going to be coming out. It's not like I'm having it sit here for a day. It's going to be used probably in the next few minutes. For some reason, my fingers are a little moist from moving stuff around. Or that seal was really good, so I have the fresh mozzarella ball. Plop that out right here. Again, the fresh mozzarella is a little different beast, a little thicker, there we go, a little bit different texture. This is buffalo di um, mozzarella di buffalo, I think, a little bit different texture. Cut as much as I can to get it ready. That is all set. So I have all my ingredients ready. They're about ready to go on the pizza because that was actually just made it bing. So, going to grab some tongs very quickly. And the reason why I'm grabbing said tongs, I just, you do want to turn the sausage around. You want to flip the sausage a little bit. The hubbo cat again, protecting the house as she's dutifully doing most, most of the time. A lot more nowadays, she's getting old. 
almost, I think she's 10 years old now, almost 11. So she's getting up there in cat years. You know what, she just wants to flop around. She's actually really cuddly too. Especially when I'm working. So that's always a good thing. Oh, I can smell the sausage in here, it's sizzle. That sausage is actually almost done. That's a little burning, we'll put that to the top rack just to finish cooking a little bit. That'll be done soon. So now, the crust is par-baked. Generally, I do like to leave it in there another five minutes or so. Remember, it's, fr it's, it's fresh, but it's thick, and it hasn't been cooked before, so you do have to let it cook a little bit. And I've been kind of attacking this drink every so often. Delicious, but not quite as refreshing. For some reason, it's like Mountain Dew and tequila. For some reason, it's amazingly refreshing. Now, cooking. The sausages are almost done. Uh oh, cheese is actually popping out. So that's a, that's always a good sign. Cheese is bursting a little bit. That's okay. All it means is that I actually might put that tray underneath it. I did see some of it hit the ground. That's not necessarily a good hit the oven. So that's not necessarily a good thing. So the crust is par baked. I'm going to start with my base, tomato base. As skillful or as least skillful as you want. I'm going to get as much on as, can, as I can. In the past, I've used spoons. I just want to use my hand and get the sun as quick. It's a raw product. And I'm touching other raw veggie products, so it's not going to hurt that much. Next, my kind of base mozzarella. I have a good base going. I have a nice crust. The crust is actually fairly tight. That's good. So I actually did cut enough mozzarella, so I didn't need to use the, sh the kind of store-bought shredded stuff, so that's always a good sign. Let's get there and there. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put veg on top of that, kind of spread out the variety of peppers. Then put some fresh mozzarella on top of that. And this is, I always do like my pizzas a little bit on the cheesy side. Nothing is wrong with that. Cheesy pizza is probably a good pizza. I cut that perfectly. So that pizza is kind of almost good to go. It's just missing the sausage. Go here, because remember that sausage is done. And you, want, and you do want to use full cooked sausage. You don't, you don't want partially cooked sausage. That's probably pretty bad. You do not want to use that. Again, that's been cooking up there on the open grill. 500 degrees for probably about 10 minutes now. So that's actually really good. And by the time I get it set up, yeah, it'll be, what time is it anyway? Oh my. So yeah, so still doing really good time-wise. You can still hear the sausage cooking. I'll put that down there. Always turn the source off first. Flash, flash, up, up, up. Sausage is done. You can, well, you can't see it because it's too dark. There's smoke. Sausage, sausage. And I can leave this out there. So now you're going to see some wonky images because I have to kind of open up the house. I just like to leave the grill open. Let's sit. Away from door. It's a wild kitten on the prowl. The hobo cat. There we go, so that's closed now. Switch hands. No, you can meow all you want, cheese, but you're, you're not going outside. Your buggy wants, and that's more than enough. Let's 
Now I have the sausage getting to some real light. Well, this pizza will probably cook, probably just only need another 10 minutes. So again, you can see the sausage is bursting anyway. It seems I just might get a fork to hold this. Hey, if you want to cut it by hand, use your fingers, be careful. Grease is hot. Using, been using the same knife because now it's kind of a done product. Only thing that has on is cheese. Slice. Slice the desired thickness. I don't like to do it too thick. I don't want chunks. Again, I don't want to eat kind of like meager pieces either. So then place that on top of the pizza. You can tell it's not pink anymore, which is good. Hot. That's why I use a fork because the stuff really is hot. And just not hot, hot taste-wise, but hot heat-wise, you will burn yourself on sausage grease, folks. I've done it once, and oh, it's like any other way you burn yourself. It's just not fun. And just avoid it. That's all. So again, I beat up a little bit. That's okay. And just one more cut, and that should be good. Some people like to let it cool. That's all up to you. That's a little bit more personal preference. I don't care. It goes on the pizza hot. Ash probably helps the cheese melts a little bit too. There we go. There, there. Again, fairly even distribution. I'll show you what it looks like once it's done. Not sure that is a pretty good distribution of stuff. There we go. Only because the cheese was melting a little bit, made some pockets. That's okay. I've learned on big pan. Whoa, sausage going all over the place. No sausage. Sausage must go in very sausagey places. Back in the 400 degree oven. Probably for another 10 minutes or so until that cheese melts. Because then everything else is done. So again, a little taste for me. That's good stuff. Bay bay. Dishwasher. 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 I'll get the plates ready and I'll show you what the finished part looks like. By the time I'm in, folks. Bye. It's all done. Let me scrub the dub dub. Oh shit. I knew I forgot something on um, grocery shopping. I can pick that up uh, if I have to Monday. It's important, it's not super important. As long as I have a clean pizza wheel, that's good. Put on said oven mitt. Cha -cha -cha. Oh wow, look at the cheese. Look at that. Oh wow, that smells freaking fantastic. Look at that pizza there. Oh yes, let's see here. And some of the cheese did bubble over. I'm sure that's just what happens with stuffed crust pizza. So still, that's not freaking bad. Look, that's, that's, if that's the worst thing that happens on the first time I ever make stuffed crust pizza, I am doing freaking good. Oh, the are still stuck on it. The yeast, the yeast. I don't think she's in here. No. Well, I do want this to cool just a little bit. And you can actually see the crust, which is good. And the crust is actually separated a little bit from the pan, which should make it easier. Some of the cheese did burn. Eh. Let's see here. That's, that's probably to be expected. So I'll have my serving plate here. I only get one final shot. Let's see how I did. Nice little the crust is fairly easily credible. I can feel the bottom of the crust. Piece of pan, that's good. It's always good. It's moving a little bit, but that's probably because of the cheese and stuff. So let's see here. Rotate it one more time.
Again, I can hear the crust cutting, which is good. Yeah, not, not bad. I mean, the thing is, I think it's just a lot of cheese on that. So let's see here. So that's good. Let's see what... The first slice to get is always the hardest to get out. So let's see here. That's not too bad. That's where the crust broke. Oh, look at that. That is freaking amazing looking. Oh, I'm kind of caught there. Uh, it kind of broke a little bit, but it's not too bad. And the thing is, there's just so much cheese on top. The crust is thoroughly cooked, though. I can tell that because it's, it's crunchy on, on the bottom, which is always good. Again, just because I think that's where the cheese broke through the crust, it's not necessarily... It's actually pretty good. Ooh, that pan's hot. Then it's just a matter of seeing, of seeing hot cheese and stuff. So actually, that's pretty good. I mean, there's always going to be... I mean, that's just super stringy cheese right there. Let's see, so let's get this off this pan. It's its own little area there on the oven. So that's actually really good. Again, there's some cheese left over. That's fine. Again, crust. Look at that one perfect slice of pizza that just came off. Minus all the super stringy cheese. Maybe I should have let it cool a little bit. That, if, if, honestly, if me letting it cool a little bit is the biggest problem I have. Let's see if we can see the cheese. Let's see if we can see this. And that's amazing, the final product. Look at that cheese. Again, look at that. The stuffed crust is amazing. Look at that final spread, folks. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Whoa. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And this will probably go on the end of Memorial Day. There's a Memorial Day feast for everyone. Happy Memorial Day, everyone. Bye.